Is your little one dealing with itchy, mysterious rashes on their skin? Don't worry, we're about to embark on a fascinating exploration to uncover the secrets of their skin. Together, we'll learn all about a special skin adventure called eczema. It's like a cool detective story for their skin. Are you and your child ready for this exciting journey? Let's jump right in and discover the wonders of their skin. Once upon a time... Once upon a time, there was a concerned mother named Michelle. She brought her young daughter to the local clinic. Her daughter had been struggling with skin issues for some time, and Michelle couldn't bear to see her little one in such discomfort. The little girl's skin was red, and she constantly scratched due to the relentless itching. It was a distressing sight for any parent. Michelle was worried, not just about her daughter's discomfort, but also because she didn't know what was causing these skin problems. In the clinic, the doctor examined the little girl carefully. The child's skin showed typical signs of eczema, a common skin condition that can affect people of all ages. Eczema can make the skin dry, itchy, and sometimes red or rashy. It can be quite uncomfortable, and for a worried mother like Michelle, it was crucial to understand what was happening. What is eczema? Eczema is a condition that causes your skin to become dry, itchy, and bumpy. This condition weakens your skin's barrier function, which is responsible for helping your skin retain moisture and protecting your body from outside elements. Eczema is a type of dermatitis. Dermatitis is a group of conditions that cause skin inflammation. Doctor, what are the types of eczema? There are several types of eczema. Each type has unique triggers that can affect your skin's barrier function, including atopic dermatitis, contact dermatitis, dyshydrotic eczema, neurodermatitis, numular eczema, seborrheic dermatitis. It's possible to have more than one type of eczema at the same time. Doctor, who does eczema affect? Eczema can affect anyone at any age. Symptoms usually appear during childhood and last into adulthood. You might be more at risk of having eczema if you have a family history or a diagnosis of dermatitis, allergies, hay fever, or asthma. Doctor, can you tell me, how common is eczema? Eczema is common. Infants are prone to eczema, and 10% to 20% will have it. However, nearly half of all infants diagnosed with eczema outgrow the condition or have significant improvement as they get older. Doctor, what causes eczema to start? The first signs of eczema are itchiness, dry skin, and a rash. These signs indicate that you came into contact with a trigger in your environment that caused your symptoms to start or flare up. Identifying environmental triggers and avoiding them can reduce your risk of an eczema flare-up in your future. Doctor, what are the symptoms of eczema? Symptoms of eczema include dry skin, itchy skin, skin rash, bumps on your skin, thick, leathery patches of skin, flaky, scaly or crusty skin, swelling. What does an eczema rash look like? Eczema can look different on each person diagnosed with the condition. If you have a dark skin tone, an eczema rash can be purple, brown, or gray. If you have a light skin tone, an eczema rash can look pink, red, or purple. Where do symptoms of eczema appear on my body? Symptoms of eczema can show up anywhere on skin. The most common places where you'll notice symptoms of eczema include on your hands, neck, elbows, ankles, knees, feet, face, especially cheeks, in and around ears, lips. While less common, eczema can also occur on your nipples, breasts, genitals. Doctor, does eczema hurt? Eczema doesn't usually cause pain. If you scratch your skin, you could break the surface of your skin and create a sore, which could be painful. Some types of eczema, like contact dermatitis, cause a burning sensation and discomfort. Doctor, can you tell me, what causes eczema? Several factors cause eczema, including, emotional triggers, your immune system, your environment, your genes. What triggers eczema to flare up? Eczema affects each person diagnosed with the condition differently. What causes your symptoms to flare up might not trigger someone else with the condition. Common triggers that cause eczema include, dry weather, low humidity, 
fabrics or clothing material, makeup or skincare products, smoke and pollutants, soaps and detergents, stress or your emotional well-being, touching something you're allergic to. Doctor, do certain foods trigger eczema? The connection between eczema and food allergies is unclear. If you have food allergies, then one of the reasons why you must avoid that food is that it may cause or worsen your eczema symptoms. Examples of common allergies include peanuts, dairy, eggs. Pay attention to what you eat. If your eczema flares up after you eat a certain food, then you might have an allergy to it. If you don't have a food allergy, then there are no foods that will cause or worsen your eczema. Is eczema an autoimmune disease? While eczema can cause your immune system to overreact, it isn't classified as an autoimmune condition. Doctor, is eczema contagious? No. Eczema isn't contagious. You can't spread eczema through person-to-person -person contact. How is eczema diagnosed? Doctor will diagnose eczema after a physical exam, where they can take a close look at your skin. Most often, people receive an eczema diagnosis as a child, as it's common among children, but a diagnosis can happen at any age when symptoms arise. Symptoms of eczema can look similar to other conditions. Your provider might offer tests to rule out other conditions and confirm your diagnosis. Tests could include an allergy test, blood tests to check for causes of the rash that might be unrelated to dermatitis, a skin biopsy to distinguish one type of dermatitis from another. Doctor How We Can Do Management and Treatment of Eczema Eczema is a chronic condition, but you can take steps to avoid triggers and prevent symptoms from affecting your skin. How do I get rid of eczema? Your treatment for eczema is unique to you and what caused your symptoms to flare up. Treatment for eczema could include using gentle or sensitive skin moisturizers throughout the day when you have dry skin. Apply moisturizer when your skin is damp after a bath or shower. Apply topical medications to your skin as advised by your provider, like topical steroids. Take oral medications like anti-inflammatory medicines, antihistamines or corticosteroids to reduce itchiness and swelling. Immunosuppressant drugs help regulate how your immune system functions. Light therapy to improve the appearance of your skin and remove blemishes. Avoid triggers that cause symptoms of eczema to flare up. How do you treat childhood eczema? If your child has skin issues, such as eczema, you can give your child a short, warm bath instead of a long, hot bath, which can dry out their skin. Use moisturizers several times daily. In infants with eczema, moisturizing on a regular basis, like with each diaper change, is extremely helpful. Keep the room temperature as regular as possible. Changes in room temperature and humidity can dry your child's skin. Keep your child dressed in cotton. Wool, silk and synthetic fabrics such as polyester can irritate their skin. Use sensitive skin or unscented laundry detergent. Help your child avoid rubbing or scratching at their skin. What type of moisturizer treats eczema? There are several options of moisturizer available to treat eczema. Choose skincare products that are hypoallergenic, fragrance, and dye-free. Choose skincare products that are gentle or for sensitive skin. Choose skincare products that contain petroleum jelly or mineral oil. Choose skincare products that don't include preservatives or stabilizers. Choose skincare products that have lipids and ceramides to improve your skin's barrier. It may take several different products through trial and error before you find one that works for you. How do I manage my eczema symptoms? Treating and managing eczema can be difficult if the cause is something you can't control, like genetics. Fortunately, you may have some influence over your environment and stress levels. Do your best to figure out what triggers or worsens your eczema, and then avoid it. The goal is to reduce itching and discomfort and prevent infection and additional flare-ups. How soon after treatment will I feel better? After treatment, it could take several weeks before your skin clears up completely. Topical medications or oral medications prescribed by your doctor help your symptoms go away faster. Are there complications from eczema? Complications are possible with eczema and could include infected eczema. Infected eczema occurs when bacteria, fungus, or a virus breaks through your skin to cause an infection. 
Symptoms that are a sign of complications include fever and chills, a clear to yellow fluid leaking out of blisters on your skin, pain and swelling. Weeping eczema causes fluid-filled blisters to form on your skin. How can I prevent eczema? There are steps you can take that may prevent eczema flare-ups and outbreaks, including moisturizing your skin regularly or when your skin becomes dry. Seal and moisture after a bath or shower by immediately applying moisturizer to your skin. Take baths or showers with warm, not hot, water. Stay hydrated and drink at least 8 glasses of water each day. Water helps keep your skin moist. Wear loose clothes made of cotton and other natural materials. Wash new clothing before wearing it. Avoid wool or synthetic fibers. Manage your stress and emotional triggers. See a psychiatrist for medication and a therapist for counseling if you're experiencing symptoms of poor mental-slash-emotional health. Use a humidifier if dry air makes your skin dry. Avoid irritants and allergens. What can I expect if I have eczema? Eczema and other types of dermatitis aren't harmful to the rest of your body. The condition isn't deadly. Nearly half of children with eczema outgrow the condition or experience improvement by the time they reach puberty. Others will continue to have some form of the condition throughout their life. For adults with eczema, the condition can be well managed with a good skincare routine. Doctor, how long does eczema last? Eczema can be a lifelong condition. It can start in infancy and continue through adulthood. You can manage your symptoms with at-home remedies, over-the-counter medications, and prescription medications. Doctor, is there a cure for eczema? No, there isn't a cure for eczema. There are treatments available, but no treatment can eliminate your symptoms 100% of the time. Eczema is a chronic condition, which means it can go away and come back unexpectedly. Treatments are very effective in reducing the symptoms of itchy, dry skin. How do I take care of eczema? Many people live with eczema, and it can be challenging. But there may be times when your eczema disappears. This is known as a remission period. Other times, you may have a flare-up, which is when your symptoms show up or get worse. The goal of treatment is to prevent flare-ups and your symptoms from getting worse. Be sure to avoid triggers, moisturize, take your medicine and follow your doctor's instructions. Michelle left the clinic feeling relieved and more informed. She understood that eczema was a manageable condition, and she now had the tools and knowledge to help her daughter lead a more comfortable life. With regular moisturizing and by avoiding triggers, the little girl's skin improved over time, and her itching reduced significantly. Michelle was grateful for the doctor's guidance, and her daughter's smile returned as her skin healed. From that day forward, Michelle and her daughter became a team in managing the eczema. They embraced proper skincare, and Michelle made sure her daughter followed her treatment plan. Together, they faced the challenge of eczema, knowing that with care and determination, they could keep it under control. And so, their journey continued with newfound hope and knowledge. Now, dear parents, let's wrap up this journey through the world of eczema. Remember, every child is unique, and their skin tells a special story. As you continue to explore the wonderful adventure of nurturing your child's skin, you'll become the expert on what works best for them. Share your experiences, seek advice, and know that you're not alone on this path. Your child's confidence shines when their skin is happy, and together, we'll ensure their smile remains as bright as ever. Don't hesitate to reach out, keep discovering, and celebrate every step toward healthier, happier skin. Your dedication is the key to success, and we're here to support you on this incredible journey.